Hello guys, welcome back. So now you will learn how to add the reference functionality in your Unreal GAM, Unreal Engine GAM. So for that purpose, first of all, we have to um, go to the Content Drawer and we have to add some assets, some weapons assets. So what I'm going to do is inside the content, okay? That is in here. I'm going to create a new folder and let's give that folder name as weapons okay now inside the weapons let's create a new folder and we will give it name as pistol pistol so inside the pistol we will add our pistol uh, 3d model that is our pistol asset so I will provide this uh, weapons that is which is by the name pistol.glv I will provide this file and also the assault rifle.glv just download both of these first of all inside our pistol folder inside the pistol folder inside the pistol folder we will drag our pistol.glb file so drag that in here inside the pistol folder and you will see this window you have to just click on import so it is importing okay and the import done so if I show you that is now inside the inside the pistol folder we have our pistol model that is our pistol as an asset if you double click on this abs underscore zero which is this pistol double click on it and you will see that so this is the pistol now what's next is we are going to add another one and that is the assault rifle so inside the weapons let's create another folder and that will be by the name assault rifle so go to the uh, inside the assault rifle folder we are going to drag and drop our assault rifle.glb file so just drag it here and then click on import so if I show you we have now assault rifle which is basically scourge weapon as you can see so yeah now inside the FPS blueprints we are going to create a new folder it will be enums and then another new folder inside the FPS blueprints okay let's create another new folder and that will be structures or let's just call it as structs now let's go to the enums folder inside the enums folder let's create blueprint and then we have enumeration and let's give it name as uh, weapon type open the weapon type double click on it just like this now the reason why we have created this weapon type enumerator is that we will have six type of weapons we will add six type of weapons okay that is pistol rifle shotgun sniper and so much other one as well so we have to add six enumerators so just click on it one two three four five six for example the first one is the pistol the second one is the assault assault rifle and then third one we will have is uh, shotgun so we can shotgun and then the fourth one we will have grenade 
launcher and then of course we will have rocket launcher and then sniper rifle so let's close this and now we can go back to our structs folder inside the structs folder right click here we can go blueprint structure you can give it name as weapon data let's open this double click on it add a variable and first variable will be the icon image second one will be the is equipped is weapon equipped and then let's add a new variable and then this one will be weapon to spawn icon image type will be texture 2d this one texture 2d object reference and the other two are boolean types so let's save this now inside the FPS blueprints let's create a new folder and that will be by the name weapons base inside the weapons base folder right click blueprint class and we are going to create actor we will give it name as weapon base and first of all make sure that inside the weapon data you have to click on this save ok so weapon to spawn this will be we have to assign it to our class which we just created which is weapon base ok so this is a class reference so let's save this and then close this now let's open up our weapon base first we will add a scene and then replace our this scene which we created with the de default scene root okay just drag above that drag this scene above that and it will look like this now now select scene okay that is we have to add a child to it and that child will be a skeleton mesh and we are going to give it name as uh, gun skeleton mesh okay so gun skeleton mesh now we need to add some variables so here in front of this variable click on this add icon and the first variable name will be socket name so this is the socket name and the type of this will be name and this is basically the name of the socket to which the gun will be attached to in the hand in our FPS character hand let's create another variable and this will be weapon type weapon type and the type of this is the struct that we created okay the enum enum weapon type okay which we already created so the type of this will be enum weapon type just like this so compile and then save and now here you will see the inside the default value the weapon type so weapon type that is what kind of weapon it is either pistol shotgun rocket launcher sniper or any type it will be just selected okay from here now one thing which we have to keep in mind is that this skeletal mesh is for the guns okay 
Now it is important that is the assets that we are using, their type will also be skeletal mesh for a rifle, for a shotgun or for any other uh, weapon you are using. So we have to make sure that what kind of uh, mesh we have and that we can make sure from here if you go to the content drawer inside our content which is weapons and then for example assault rifle so if you hover your mouse on this gun then you see that this is basically of type object underscore to static mesh so this is a static mesh similarly for the pistol if I hover over the pistol mesh then it is also static mesh so we need a static mesh not a skeletal mesh okay so we have to confirm that so that's why uh, I'm going to now delete this one which is gun skeletal mesh just select that and delete it and then select scene that is we are going to add a new child to this scene and that will be static mesh this okay so we can say gun static mesh so make sure to click compile and then save and now come back here to the content drawer and what we need to do is FPS blueprints our weapon base which is basically which we created okay so now we will just instead of uh, time waste we will just you know copy paste that for any rifle which we create for example this is a weapon base for all the rifles so let's say if we are creating it for the assault rifle then we will rename it as weapon base assault rifle then let's say for the pistol it will be weapon base pistol and then let's say weapon base sniper and so on okay so what we can do is we can simply uh, right click right click on the weapon base right click on it then create child blueprint class and we will give it name as weapon base assault underscore weapon base underscore assault rifle just like this now open this weapon base assault rifle now click I mean select that gun static mesh and to this we have to assign our mesh or you can say our asset assault rifle so instead of uh, in front of this static mesh in front of that you can click here and you can write the name of that mesh or you can say the name of that uh, asset for example for the assault rifle if I show you for the assault rifle the name is object underscore 2 however for the pistol it is APS underscore 0 okay so I'm talking about these things so anyways now what we can do is as you know that for the assault rifle the name is object 2 this one object underscore 2 which you can see here okay this is our assault rifle so the mesh is attached to it so click on compile and then save and let's see so yeah the pivot point is here we will fix it once we attach it to the FPS hands let's make all this zero yeah now we have to set its variable which is inherited from the parent weapon base class so here we have to click on this gear icon and show inherited variables now if you expand variables then you will see the socket name and the weapon type which is inherited from the weapon base class parent class so for this I mean this weapon is you know that click on weapon type and the weapon type this one is assault rifle as you can see and the socket name for this will be let's give it name as socket underscore 
assault rifle please use the same name okay so that you do not get confused when we assign them or use it later on so socket underscore assault rifle will be the socket name for this assault rifle so click on compile and then click save so this was for the assault rifle let's create for the pistol as well so inside our FPS blueprints weapon base as you know this is a weapon base is our parent okay so right click on this weapon base create child blueprints and this one's name will be weapon base pistol let's open up this weapon base pistol now the gun static mesh select that and assign the mesh to it which is APS underscore zero by the name of this again okay, this is a static mesh select that so you can see that now click on this gear icon show inherited make sure that this one is checked so the socket name for this will be socket underscore pistol and the weapon type you know this is a pistol so make sure to select pistol for it then compile and then save